Hey man, this is Nick at stridewise.com and uh, we're gonna talk about how to use saddle soap to clean your boots. Saddle soap is a very, very, very strong soap that should not be used lightly. I mean, you should use it lightly in small amounts, but it is an astringent, it constricts the fibers of leather and it is very easy to accidentally use too much. It's very easy to, uh, if you leave it on for too long, it'll like suck some of the dye out of the leather and a lot of like the important moisture that the leather needs. So saddle soap is a very, it's a very, powerful but finicky kind of product, right? If you, if nothing else is working, if like over the counter leather cleaner isn't working, if you really need to get really deep and dive into that leather and take out some stains, Saddle Soap, which was designed to clean saddles that have been like really, really properly beat up in the wilderness and the harshness of the elements. Saddle Soap is kind of like a last resort. Uh, you need to use it carefully and respectfully and for that, I actually already filmed a video. I was going to do one now and then I remembered that actually a little while ago I went to Utah to, uh, to see Rose Anvil, which is a leather boots, leather focused channel as well on YouTube. And we cleaned, we did a whole guide to Chrome XL leather. This is Chrome XL leather here. Uh, actually, so is this. And uh, Chrome XL is a really popular boot leather. And in that video, we use saddle soap to clean Chrome XL. You can use saddle soap to clean your own leather boots as well. Like the instructions are exactly the same, so I'm just like cutting out that bit of the video and putting it here for you to see how to use style soap because there's no need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, and Weston at Roseanne did a really good job of showing how to use saddle soap uh, and the way it works. The only thing to remember is don't use it on uh, on suede or rough out leather. That is the, that's like the, the fuzzier, nappier kinds of leather. Uh, it's, it's much more likely to be discolored and to ruin the appearance and the, and the, and the nap and the fuzzy sort of appearance of suede or rough out. So don't use saddle soap on those. Uh, on smooth leathers, you can use it. Uh, just be careful and pay attention to how long it's on the leather. And you're going to learn exactly how to do that right now in this video with me in the past. So uh, roll the clip, me from the past. To the future! Nick from Stridewise. We have some Phoebing saddle soap here. Phoebing. We considered using Kiwi saddle soap, um, but uh, Phoebing's is the go-to saddle soap brand, and uh, we know that everyone would have made fun of us if we yep. didn't use the saddle soap brand, so Phoebing's it is. What else have we but got we here? we do have Kiwi brushes from Walmart. We do have Kiwi, <laughs> <laughs> we do. Now, uh, to apply the saddle soap, um, ordinarily one would use a, a nice horsehair brush like this. Um, but we can't. But I dirtied it up with black shoe polish. It's covered in black shoe polish, so we're not using that. So I know people might make fun of us for not using that one. This is okay. You can also use a, a paper towel, but we're gonna go with a compromise between the, the perfect horsehair brush and the paper towel. So uh, let's take take it away. How do we how do we use a saddle soap? So the way I use saddle soap, there's anyone out there has like everyone has their own technique. I like to use it pretty sparingly, but basically all I do is I get my brush little wet, nothing too crazy. And what you're wanting to do is foam up the saddle soap. My saddle soap's old, so it's not. It's gonna take a little bit more playing to get it to foam up. That's you, just, you want to get like a nice froth going because you don't want to apply it straight. And you also see how like chunky that looks. You want it to be almost like your old timey uh, barber getting that, that uh, shaving cream frothed up. Right. So you got that on your brush and now you just start applying it. And I, I like to do it pretty sparingly. So all I do is I take my brush and I'm gonna work it in. And I don't wanna sit here and let this saturate all the way to the core of the leather. We're just trying to get out that surface um, stains and dirt. So I'm just gonna work it in, make sure I hit that spot where that dark spot was. And then I have, I don't know, five or 10 seconds worth. And I'm gonna just take my paper towel and wipe off the extra here kind of check and see where we're at we might be able to just take this and kind of work that around just kind of work it in with my finger to see if that's coming out or the, if these are my boots but i do not know where the stain came from <laughs> i live a very rough and tumble adventurous life here we go as a Our streets in new york as a blogger and on the upper west side of new york city <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so i'm just kind of taking my thumbnail and just trying to Pull that away without actually scratching the grain up, and that seems to be working. And you could work it in with this brush. The more saddle soap you use, the more it's going to pull out. And if we're just doing a surface wash, trying to just get some of the surface stuff out, we don't need to really saturate it. Okay, so now we're getting kind of to a point where we've got that stain mostly removed. And I'm not too concerned about getting all of the rest of this super cleaned up. We'll do one more wash to try to even out any color differences between where we've kind of been scrubbing on to the rest of the boot. 
So what's interesting is we've at some point you scuffed it here and yeah. removed the top layer of whatever finish they put on so it, it absorbs water and oil and everything a little bit more. So that should lighten up once, that like dark spot right there, that should lighten up once it's dried and reconditioned. Yeah. At least in my opinion, I don't like to I don't like to let it dry and try to do the entire boot and let it soak in. I like to do panel by panel to make sure that you're hitting the spots that you want without oversaturating it, without over drying the leather. So we'll do a quick wash of this panel one more time. Get any extra stuff off of there. I also like to do a kind of a wet wash with either like a sponge or another wet paper towel to try to remove any remaining saddle soap that's left on the surface of the leather because it does kind of leave a little bit of a film. All right, we have given this a nice saddle soaping um, and we are gonna leave this until tomorrow so let the leather dry out and then we are going to give it a condition tomorrow, but we're gonna wait till the boots are dry first. Um, so I'm gonna go home and sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it is now officially tomorrow. How's tomorrow going for you? So far, so good. Yeah, cool, yep. great. All right, thanks for having me back. Um, here is the boot. It is nice and clean, uh, and over time, like, I'm, I'm a little bit, so here are the scuffs, right? Now, this is much, much more uniform in appearance than it was before, so I'm really, really glad um, that we did it. Where's the other boot? You can see the other boot is, had, like, black spots kind of, like, all over it. Um, there were more spots on this. So this is looking really nice and uniform now. What do you think about the scuffs on this? Like, especially on the toe and here. Is this ever gonna look like a new boot again, Weston? I think it is fixable because it's not a deep stain, it's deep into the leather. I think it's just that top layer of leather got worn away and once we put some conditioner on there, and a, a lighter conditioner, I think it's gonna be just fine and kind of bring some of that even texture back and some of that even coloring. All right, that's it. So as you can see, this is obviously the one that's been treated with the shoe cream. This one has not been treated with the shoe cream. Uh, and this is nice. It's really taking like a nice shine. The color is much more uniform. Uh, we also use the saddle soap, of course, to remove the blemishes. So this is more uniform in appearance. It's also considerably shinier. The uh, color is pretty, it's pretty rich. It's darkened a little bit, but with some time, this will lighten up, um, but it will look better than if you'd never conditioned it at all. There's an uh, article in the description below if you want to check that out as well. Uh, and uh, thanks, Weston, yep. for coming on the channel, man. I've got some other videos with Weston. Um, check them out, uh, subscribe, and um, stick around. Thanks, thanks, man. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs>